Hi guys, in this session I am going to explain how a quotation can be created. So the quotations are coming from leads and opportunities and it is converted into the sale order. So when a requirement or request for a product comes that is first set as a lead then uh, after more, little more confirmation it is converted into opportunity then f it is then uh, set as a quotation after pricing and pricing guarantee and pricing discussions that is converted into sale order agreements. So the lead and opportunities are explained in the CRM session that is explained in the previous sessions. So moving to the quotations, quotations are coming under sales menu, create quotation. So for the, which customer I'm creating the quotation and Okay, I'm sorry. Axlar. And which date, in which description, and warehouse you can specify the products. Which all our products are you creating? Then ice cream. One ice cream setting its prices. Thousands. Update. Then, what is the next product? iMac. Selling this five units, f 2000 rupees. So, 2000 into five, 10,000. Then, I put mini. Thousand update thirteen thousand next item okay written a display not enough stock no problem you can update it's in the inventory a bad written on display products products iPad retina display very good so display can be the qu quantity on hand as minus one we can update it here so no problem so the quantity will be higher then setting its prices 2000 so total prices 15,000 fine saving this quotation so after the quotation has been saved we can directly print out it from here or send it through email okay sending this this mail id is actually that you have specified while creating this xlr that is specified in the customer's information, then references, you can have a view from here, then your company, the, then this is the attached quotation, you can have more attachments, then sending this. After this quotation sent, then you can have more meetings and calls f about this quotations, and after confirm, or uh, you can have more editing after sending this quotation, by this edit button and after all discussions and everything you are confirming you can have the confirm sale or cancel quotation if you are confirming the sale with this one six number zero sale order zero one six number then confirming this sale order one six for axler yes this is the con sale order, confirmed sale order. Then you can deliver this product. Check availability of each product. Then recheck availability, then force it and transfer it. Okay. Transferring this, apply. Good. So the quantity, the items quantity will be reduced in the products information. You can check it. You can have a check in all this info, all this products quantity. Okay, fine. 
going to after transfer then we are going to invoice all this product you can have four options some order lines fixed price percentage wholesale order moving from bottom to top some order lines show lines to invoice these some order lines we can have invoice we can generate invoice for each order line separately so i am just putting ice cream invoice for thousand rupees only then create out of the 15,000 rupees I am only creating the invoice for 1,000 rupees that's the importance of some order lines so 1,000 rupees yeah creating this is a draft invoice you can have edit on this you okay, have to all editing validate this so you will get a number that is 009 if you check in the account session accounting session accounting you will get yes the invoice with thousand rupees the invoice generated against ice cream for axler very good then this is the only ice cream invoice then going to create invoice for the rest of these products create invoice what is the next fixed price setting 200 rupees 15,000 minus 1000 that is 14,000 then 200 rupees advance amount create and view good 30 that is having a tax that's why subtotal is 200 plus tax is 30 that is 230 validating this if you check this number against the accounting one accounting menu you will get the customer invoice there okay after that you can have a register payments okay for axler you are if you are paying zero rupees by cash then or you, are, you can pay 230 rupees by cash okay date period payment reference number a memo and the difference amount is the payment required that is a required payment in the invoice total payment in the invoice minus the paid amount that is the difference amount total payment minus paid amount register payment for 230 rupees so paid it not a friend's amount the invoice generated for 2000 rupees and you have paid 230 rupees so invoice is generated minus the paid amount equal to zero fine no problem if you need to refund this invoice you can click it here and proceed from here so i'm not mentioning that it now and moving to the create invoice next option percentage and paying 10 percentage of the invoice now so create and view invoice how thousand fifteen thousand ten percent is thousand five hundred okay i'm paying this validating uh view, you can have edit on this okay no problem validating this okay validating send by mail uh, this can be downloaded or sent by mail and after all this procedure then registering the payment the that is paid amount paid amount is 1500 rupees not thousand thousand five hundred rupees cash bank or anything you can pay setting it as cash okay register payments okay that is registered now and then then the next one is the wholesale order create in view so what happens the advance 10 percentage is paid that is thousand fifteen thousand for ten percent is thousand five hundred then advance two two hundred rupees paid plus tax two thirty rupees then imac 
that is also represented iMac mini then iPad retina display everything has been represented here here the rest amount is 12,270 rupees then draft this is a draft invoice validating this so this is open now after register payment that is set as paid this is how the payment procedure or flow of payment goes that's it you can have a printout of this invoice from here it looks like it's a little bit slow no problem a little bit slow okay then I'm registering this payment the difference amount is 12,270 rupees payment method If I am paying 10,000 rupees, then registering the payment, there is a 12, payment has been paid 10,000 rupees. But the invoice is not in the paid state, there is a 12. Control C in the accounting session while I am going to search 0012 that is open. Why that is open? Let's see why. This is the balance amount 2270 is need to be paid. The subtotal is 12,300 rupees. Okay, need to be paid 2270 rupees okay so after this we are going to pay the rest of the amount A 006 sale order view invoice 0016 view invoice these are the all invoices created against this the invoice created against this and registering the payment difference amount is 2,270 2, rupees this is the required payment that is the payment required or that is written in the invoice minus the paid amount that is the difference amount it's actually specified here so I am now putting this whole amount as a payment setting cash so yes that is set as zero that is payment invoiced that is for 2270 rupees so i'm paying this 2270 rupees that's how the zero comes as a difference amount difference amount is computed as the difference between the amount stated in the voucher and the sum of the allocations on the voucher lines have you understood that concept? Okay, registering this. Finally, the invoice has been paid state. Very good. That's all about this selling or sale order, then uh, quotation sale order concepts and it's invoicing. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you very much for hearing this. Thank you.